Hey, 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 what is up, Swept Games here, and today I'm bringing you a new commentary on Battlefield Hardcore and how I think it should change in Battlefield 5, so before this video, make sure to leave rating at the end, and hope you guys... Okay, so I'm going to talk about the good things that I think Hardcore does better, which I think one thing is the damage models are way better for the most part. There's, a few, there's one class and one other oddball gun that I will talk about later, in their problems, but the assault rifles, all of them, I think they're so much nicer. The, uh, everything but the snipers and the, well, one sniper and the other DMRs, because bolt actions are what I want them to be. At probably anything under 50, 60 yards, I don't know, I don't have synthetic pulled up right now, but I think you can actually go out a lot, a good distance in, a uh, hardcore and still get upper chest shots and drop people. Which you really should be able to for long ranges. Because I want Battlefield to take a little bit more of a realistic turn, but they don't have to, I don't want them to go arm with three style fully, because I still want it to be relatively a simple game that I can just hop on and get right into. That, well, for, in that way, anyone can. But also, other good things is I like the lack of HUD. Minimap, I don't have a problem. I don't like how they have that little gray thing like surrounding the minimap area. And yeah, it's a little annoying, but I think the damage models and HUD setup's really good. Which, now I'm going to be talking about what I think needs to improve on Hardcore. Because I think, I enjoy Hardcore a bit more than normal Battlefield. I think it's more the game I want it to be, so. I'll talk about the problems of hard. The first problem with Hardcore is the minimap. I'm okay with not having a minimap. But have you ever heard of something called Battle Screen? I bet you have. You have your monitor playing Battlefield 4, and the other one has the big map. Well, you probably already run it if you have dual monitors in just normal Battlefield, like that's normal core. But besides that, there's not much HUD related issues. Now I'm going to be talking about the big issues the DMRs and the uh, SR338. The reason I only said the SR-338 is because it's the only semi-auto sniper. That doesn't matter, though. I'll talk about those in a second. So, I believe we all know that the guns are balanced around the normal sets. They are not really balanced around hardcore that much. I think they just made it so you can't one-shot kill people with sniper rifles. At any distance on the map was, like, the only balancing they've ever done for this. But, regardless about that, their one-hit headshots both the guns at all ranges I believe because they at least I believe the DMRs always do 30 damage I'll look that up and like I'll put an annotation if I'm wrong but yeah and the SR338 it's probably a better choice than the DMRs in here because it can one hit body shot people and it also can get the bigger scope on it there's more customization to it to make it more how you want sorry about the squeaky chair so there's really no reason to run a DMR. Just run the SR338 because that gun's just such a better choice. I was noticing I was getting killed by it, and it's not a popular gun. There's no reason to use it in normal core. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, do all that type of stuff. In the comments, just state your opinion if you agree with me yeah, or not. Perfect. So you, see you later. Swift Games out. What the fuck is wrong with this guy?